Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're going to take a closer look at Americana Global Wheel and Tire Cleaner. You can get this in two sizes. Uh, you can get it in the 16-ounce container for $13.99. You can also get it in the gallon container for $40.99. This is a two-in-one, so this cleans rubber and wheels, all types of wheels, any type of finish. So if this works out and is even half decent, it would be uh, a very good buy. This comes ready to use, but if you're doing a maintenance cleaning and the vehicle's not very dirty, you can, I'm sure, cut this one-to-one -one or three-to-one, and it would be just as effective. We're going to try it straight up, and we're going to go out back and dig up some uh, browned, dirty tires with the uh, lettering, the white walls, uh, all gummed up. And we're going to try it a few different ways and see how it works out for us. Rubber is very porous, and it's where the tire meets the road, of course, and that means just about anything you could think of will get mixed in with old tire dressings, and that's where you get the browning, especially when it mixes in with rail dust or brake dust. First, we'll just spray the product onto the tire. This is in direct sunlight and um, pretty warm temperatures, by the way, and we'll let it see what it can do on its own without agitation uh, it's a good sign that you could start seeing some of the browning being broken up and running down off the tire you can't get away uh, from not scrubbing the tire being as porous as rubber is with a nice stiff brush but uh, we'll rinse this off we'll give it a few minutes it's already starting to dry so let me hurry up a bit here we'll rinse it off and uh, we'll let the sunlight dry it and take a look we have the tire right next to it which is pretty much identical and we'll be able to compare rinsed thoroughly and then completely dried we'll walk back and we could see a slight difference the browning isn't quite as thick uh, the lettering is starting to brighten up a little bit and that's without agitation at all again you're not going to be able to get away with not scrubbing a tire at all to get it perfectly clean so that's what we're going to do next we'll grab something to agitate it but instead of a stiff tire brush let's just try a soft detailing brush see what we can get away with. The product foams up nicely if you have the right nozzle or with any agitation at all, and the foam is turning brown, so we are lifting dirt. Thoroughly rinsed once again and completely dried by the sun, we come up, we could see a bit of a better difference. Still a little bit of browning towards the uh, bead uh, of the rim, where the rim would be mounted. And the lettering can get a lot brighter. So let's uh, try this one more time with a proper tire brush and stiffer bristles. 
keep in mind this is an all-in-one this is meant to clean tires as well as wheels so there has to be a fine balance if they crank it up to completely clean a tire quickly that could mess with the balance of cleaning a wheel and cleaning all surfaces of uh, all wheels as it says on the label so it's a fine um, balancing act that they have to make with the the product and the pH of the product uh, with the stiffer bristled uh, brush that I'm using for tires again the foam is turning brown so we are lifting even more dirt Okay, now when the tire is dried, we expect a huge difference between the two. And the letters are much, much brighter, and the rubber is cleaner. There is some, looks like, permanent staining on the lettering uh, towards the rim, uh, but it looks better. Now, we can move on to uh, rims next, but before we do, I quick want to check something. Let me hit it with the cleaner one more time, and keep in mind, this is now the fourth time we've sprayed the cleaner on, and I want to agitate with the tire brush. And if we get the foam to turn brown, that means uh, the previous uh, rounds, we have not completely removed all of the dirt and the crud and the browning. And we can see some of that here, which means there is room to crank up the power uh, on this as a tire cleaner. But again, that could mess with the balance of it being a wheel cleaner for all types of wheels. Um, just showing you guys that. Let's move on to uh, wheels, rims, and we have some here that have baked on brake dust, and it's been quite some time since these wheels have been cleaned. This will be a great test. You'll notice not using a power washer, just the hose. I, I want to see what the product can do on its own. So once again, we'll just spray onto the rim, let it dwell a little bit and rinse and see if it's uh, broken up or emulsified and loosened some of the baked on brake dust. On its own, as I bring you guys in closer, you'll see it was trying. It was trying to get deep down in to that layer of uh, baked on, heated up. Um, the, actually, the wheel, you could see it steaming up the lens, is still pretty darn warm, close to hot, uh, to the touch anyway. So let's get the cleaner back on and do an agitation with a soft wheel brush, and we'll see what we can do.
with it being a warm day to begin with and the wheels being hot themselves uh, i really wasn't quick enough to get around the whole wheel there are a little bit of water spots so let me rinse uh, i'll agitate quickly with just a wet brush get some of that out of the way so we can come in closer and take a look With just a soft detailing brush, I can't complain with the results that brake dust has been on there for quite some time. A second round would really help it. Um, and keep in mind the pitting that you see there, the wheel would have to be refinished to get rid of that. But overall, I think the product would be best as a maintenance for uh, wheels that have been coated or cars that are really taken care of where they just need a light cleaning. Uh, overall, I would give the tire cleaner part of it a 5 out of 10, the wheel cleaning part of it an 8 out of 10, and uh, 6.5 out of 10 for the product overall. I do like Americana Global. I use their products here at the shop on a daily basis, and I'm going to bring you more and show you more. This has been Brian from Apex Detail, and we'll catch you in the next video.